Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 1 of Crusader Kings 3 with me, Dave Pumphouse. If you're new here, I'm dreadful at these kind of games, but I do love them. I spent many an hour on CK2, many good times, and now we've picked up CK3. We picked it up a little while ago actually, and uh, we had a bash at the tutorial and after five long hours of playing that tutorial and becoming the king of Ireland and this that and the other we thought you know what it's time it's time that we had a bash at recording it for your enjoyment and your lamenting at home so here we are. CK2 falls by the wayside and all the fuckery that we, we do with that game and we're going to go on to a more narrative driven game with CK3. Some more in-depth characters and, and stories I'm sure. And there's only one one place I want to be. There's only one place to start this one and for some of you who watch my watch my content it might be uh, a little bit of uh, a surprise but maybe some for some others it might not be um, and I think it's testament to the fact that the first game I ever had in CK2 was was an Eldom uh, and we had some great fun uh, you know, you, you never get, you never forget your first. Um, and for some of you who've watched my content, I always try and keep a sneaky eye on one culture in particular. But I digress. It's going to have to be, and this might surprise some of you. It's going to have to be five. First game I ever had in CK2 was Fife. So I think it's only fit that we pick Fife for our first ever playthrough in CK3. I I think it's I think it's gonna be good. Union without wanting is our family motto and we're starting out as a 61 more mere Dreisden of Fife. Play. So let's have a look at our skills. We're 11, 6, 7, 9, 6. Fairly run in the mill with 208 soldiers and 3.1 ducats a month in uh, income. We're a beardy looking guy, we're, you know, not, not, not too bad looking. You know, we've been around a bit, I'm sure. We're unmarried, but that's let's not worry about that. Our heir, Senaid McDryston McDrosten is a three, sorry nine three nine five six. Again he, he takes after his old dad, he's not overly great. He's an amateurish plot plotter, he's a bit lazy, he's calm and he's brave. Right, let's try and find you a spouse. Someone who's probably a little bit better at diplomacy, because God knows we'll need it. Ah, Cecilia, a Breton. Not great in anything else, though. Uh, no. Maybe, maybe we want to go down the stewardship route instead. Uh, French. Actually, probably instead, because we are only an, uh, uh, an earl. Maybe we need need to try and find ourselves an ally. So our king here has oh you're a I kingdom of Meath. Right, okay. So the king's very connected uh, with the high chief of Moray over here. And uh, Moray is um, he's, he's a big vassal isn't he? 
if he wants to pick a fight, there's no one no one to stop him. Crikey. Holy crap. Um, so yeah, let's try and see if we can't get an alliance somehow, somewhere. Uh, what's, what's your dudes like? So we've got an 8 year old, 11 year old, and a 12 year old. House Morgan. Can we try and get House Morgan? Curious, cynical, compassionate, generous. Can we maybe arrange a marriage between you and uh, Sinead McDyson over here? Won't accept. What about, what about you instead? You're bossy, zealous and temperate. Sinead McDyson, no. What about the, what about the eight-year-old? Do you want to... <laughs> It's going down a bit. Eleven. Hmm. That's not going to work. What about instead? Try and marry you off to the other, the other son. Uh, me. Who is? Mir Mirathak. Who is? Consentious Stribe, Vengeful, Arbitrary and Calm. Right, okay. <coughs> Let's see if we can't take the 11 year old and arrange a marriage between you and Meritek. Still, still won't do it. Man. What about you? You got any daughters? An 8 year old. Curious and humble. Nope, still won't accept. Right, gonna have to go out on a on a on a limb. You're you're married, of course you are. Jorvik, twenty-two. Ah, she is quick. Ah, we can probably try and arrange marriage between you and Senate. Oh, what? Damn. Okay, well let's see if we can't try and get you something else. An Irish, an Irish woman. Anyone want to give us some kind of? No, no, no alliances to be had. But she's, she's pretty damn good. She's zealous. She's ambitious. She's oh no, she's chaste. Swabian with a lisp. Swabian with a lisp. No. Ermeltrude. Another Swabian. Shall we go for the Breton? Let's go for the Breton. Uh, you. Well, he'll accept at least. So, that's something. And for you, sir, I'll try and find you... <sighs> Someone. Uh, Eldam of Armand. Um... Why was that not coming up before? So we've got, we've got an alliance with with Ireland. So we've, what we've got here: diligent, honest, shy, ambitious, compassionate, forgiving. We'll go for this one. There you are. And no lifestyle chosen. Well, I tell you what we'll do: we'll take. The wealth focus and the councils. What's our council like? Ugh. Domestic affairs or foreign affairs? I'll go for foreign affairs. Uh, the priest isn't all that great either. Ugh. Not great. Not great, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just up the speed, just ever so slightly. What's this? Um, Bless the Union. Bless the Union. And we do have an alliance, so that's good. We won't be taken over quite just yet. But it looks like armies are on the march. So 
So yeah, Drosten. You can't say it with a Scottish accent. Drosten. The carps. If it is a pond for carps you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has good credentials, and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. You used to have all. Uh, every courtier gains 20 opinion of me for 50 gold. Is that truly the d best deal you have? Um. Stop wasting my time. I don't need a carp pond. I really don't. But I'll take the gamble for 60-40. Actually, no, I won't. Stop wasting my time. I don't want to play carp pond. Jeez. A new law. Your liege has passed the law. Limited tribal authority. Okay. Greetings, Mormir. A fife. Mormir. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, de Boot, and it has been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. Oh no. Oh dear. So, as we are tribal, probably want to put up some palisades. And we'll probably want to um, create a men at arms regiment, actually. Um, I don't know if we want horses, or do we want pikes, armoured footmen, I mean some bowmen probably would be nice. Take the bowmen. There you go. Take a hundred bowmen. But yeah, I, 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 the, the story of Fife and why I chose it. So the first time I played CK2, I, I picked Fife, and I was, as anyone would, discovering the game, figuring out, using my caster's bellies. Um, and the story goes that I took Carrick, and I was like, oh, excellent, good. And then I decided to fabricate a claim on Ulster, and then I became the Duke of Ulster. And as I did that, and as I won the war, I swear, back then, the Pope was way more um, quick to excommunicate people if you started fights with other Catholic rulers. So he excommunicated me, but then he called for the Crusades, and I was like, I know how to please the Pope. I'll go on crusade. And I swear to you, it was probably the longest crusade I've ever seen in, in the game. And we stayed there for a good while. And then, just so as it happens, we contributed the most men to this 30 years crusade for Jerusalem. And then we became the King of Jerusalem. On my first outing of CK2. And it was amazing. And I was hooked ever since. We never got any better at the game, obviously, um, from from previous uh, playthroughs. But it, it's it's a true story, nonetheless. Um, yeah, it was all downhill from there. But we have five issues. We can declare wars. We've got a few champions. Well, and we've got an election. And I've got fabricate claim on Strathern. Um, Do we need that? No. We d we don't need that. We don't need to start a war with someone else. Not really. I mean... No. Why do we do so much prestige? Oh, it's because of the... Never mind. We'll, we'll construct the palisades with all our glory and, and money. And then afterwards we'll... Uh, 
build a market or something to to do ourselves like that. But um, yeah, I mean it's it's a pretty little game, isn't it? CK3. They they put a lot of, a lot of effort into it, and I can't wait to see it evolve. Um, it's 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 a shame that some things got cut out from CK2 and obviously eight years of development and what have you made CK2 a hell of a lot more in depth but I'm liking it so far uh, what have we got shall we take the tax man or yeah I'll take the tax man get, get, some, get some more gold uh, declare war who's this Of Hatland. Where is Hatland? Conquer Dutchy, Conquer County. Where is Where is Hatland? Fine tile. Hatland. I don't know. I don't know where that is. Shortland. Have I gone mad? Ah, oh, it's up there. Hebrides. Right. We can somehow claim him. He's got 360 men. And how many do we have? We've got like 200 and something, right? Yeah, there's, there's no, no use in that. Why would someone want to start a war over that? It's silly. A word of advice. A saunter between the market stalls of Dunfermline, a hefty pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of the local smith, good steel and sound investment, my guest, Brion, or Broin, suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, my lord. Have a look at the jeweler's stall over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. Invest in the smithy, invest in the jeweler's shop. Twenty gold. I'll go for. I'll go for the smithy. Actually, I mean, having a friend would be good. But I mean, how how good are you? I mean, you're not so bad for stewardship. Top size. Um, I'll trust you. I'll go for the jeweler's shop. Oh no! Now we come ill. Stayed out in that market too long. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a physician. Right, what do you like? So we got finally my servants have found some people who might serve the court physician. Uh, she is a physician, so for fifty gold, we'll take her. Do no more than is necessary. Safe treatment. Let's do it. Do no more than is necessary. Excellent work. I should probably try and get you married, but there's no one to marry you to. I mean, I'd marry you, but I'm, I'm old and I'm ill. How are you getting on? You've had a son. I oh know she's a granddaughter. No, you want a son, mate. Okay. That's what you want. You don't want no daughter, you want a son. It's 
so yeah. And he's got 2,000 men. All in the Lothian down there. Back to my old self. Good. City planning. Huh. Strange. So yeah. This is this is it. This is CK3. And we're gonna have fun. And a call to war. Greetings, Mormare Dristan of Fife. I call on you to honor your alliance and join me in the Ormondian conquest of the Earldom of Desmond. Signed Chief Dokchad Bakadal de Beren. Ah, okay. Desmond. And you own that one. Down there. Um I'll accept. How many men has he got down in Desmond? He's got four hundred and twelve and you have well, you you're easy. Except, I'll help you out, buddy. I just won't send any men over. <laughs> Knock yourself out. I'll be happy to help. Why did you? Why are you taking a boat over? You could have took the road. You strange man. Very weird AI decision that. And now he's decided he can't can't conquer it. Oh no, he he did. Overtaxation causes banditry. Stop. That's just that's just a fallacy. That's Lunacy. How are we getting on with those palisades? Good. Good stuff. Oh. Defeat! Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I have... Should I have helped? <laughs> I wasn't gonna go fucking help. Miles away. Doesn't affect me down there. Thanks. Thanks for the door. Lollards in Holles Holland. Oh, jeez. What kind of twisted mockery of faith is this? Those Lollards seem to rise up in Holland all the time. Very insignificant. Obscure, even. Obscure. <laughs> the Drydens. Or Drostens, rather. Drostens. Are, uh, Obscure. Wow. These guys, though, they're going to be powerful. Uh oh, what's this? Accusations of witchcraft. Bloodstained cloth, clothes, feathers, strange smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented by a group of villagers from Fife as proof that Etain has been practicing witchcraft in her hut on the outskirts of the village. Villagers claim her evil works must be uh, cause of their sick animals and causing, calling for her execution. Well, you are a shrewd miracle worker and an astute intellect, zealous but lazy, quite gluttonous. Uh, ah, okay. Burner for the crimes against God? A witch, you say? I could use a new advisor. <laughs> mm. ah, it's Burner. If she weighs the same as a duck, that's Burner. And she does. And we've already got a physician. So we don't need a new one. 
Are you at war? Are you at war? Diplomacy defending against Australand on the East Icelandic conquest of. Oh, okay. Raiding. Oh, he's raiding. I see. Oh, stewardship perk available. In the lifestyle tree. Uh, defensive uh, maneuvers, fort levels, and garrison sites. Oh! Defensive measures. We've been quite shrewd. Yes. Oh, has he taken over Strathclyde? Is he going for Strathclyde? I think I think he's just raiding, but some some mighty good good raiding going on if he's doing that. Uh actually we probably need to uh improve Actually we can't. We need more uh Oh god, we need more prestige. Got no markets. Oh god, that's terrible. Uh, what about these guys? Oh, we can't because we're tribal. Oh, yeah. That's no good either. Nothing to build. Nothing to build. No hope at all. Um, can't increase the actual size either. Because it's going to cost us more renown than we we can afford. Raise <laughs> them all as raiders. Go out on get Penny Kewick over here. It's very strange to have Penny Kewick as a as a thing. Haddington. God, I mean they're all. Holy crap. My word. Well, but yeah, this is this is CK3. We're, we're going to move forward and uh, hopefully make a story. Join us next time as we play CK3. I'm gonna, it's going to take a while getting used to that one. Bye-bye. <laughs>